Hello out there, this is DZ, your overlord Deseran, and welcome back to the Liar Princess and the Blind Prince. <laughs> uh, now, we're back in, where, where do we leave off? Let's see, where are we? Ivory Thread Bridge, Mushroom Nursery, okay. Come on, Prince. What the hell is that? It's a flower that expels seeds after a strong impact. Let's attack it in wolf form. Oh. Interesting. Oh, I can aim it. Okay, well, I don't need to hit anything with it, it seems. But it's a new mechanic. Hey. Let's go, Prince. Whee! I'm just gonna take a look ahead just to be safe. Ha! Yeah. Gotcha. What the hell? Oh, I see. What the hell? Boom. But I am. Okay. I get you. All right, Prince. Come on. We gotta go. Wee. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Wee. There we go. Oh, sorry. Come on, Prince. Come on. Let's go. Okay, give me a second to take a look around. Oh, it's one of these. What? Oh no. We gotta jump on it. <sighs> or wait, is this one where we have to go one at a time? I don't know. Okay, no, we're fine. <laughs> Okay, hang on, Prince. I need to take a look around. Just make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, I think we're okay. You wait there. What? Okay. I need to find those leaves, damn it. There's the flower. Boom. Boom. Come on. There we go. Oh, they're up there. Well, how the hell do I get up there? Oh, that's how I get up there. Bloop, bloop. All right, little bastards. Yeah. 
Okay. I will murder all of you. What the? What the hell? What is that? How do I? How do I? What? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Huh. There's gotta be a mechanism of some kind. Okay, I got the five leaves. I just need to get that flower now. How do I... how do I get that? Huh... Is there something ahead? Oh, there's something up there. What the hell? Oh, I'm going to need the prince for this. Okay. Okay. Okay, I think I get it. I think I got it. Okay. Okay. Got to go back a little bit. Prince. Prince. Sorry, I had to go ahead and set everything up. Come on. At least it's saved now after having done all that, so that's the good thing. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Wait. How do we... Huh. Run! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh! Oh no! No no no! Crap! <laughs> okay. Huh. Huh. Okay. Okay, Prince. You're fine. You're fine. It's okay. Everything's fine. I'm gonna just land on these. Okay. Okay. Wait. No, no, no. Okay. Come on. Okay. I need you. Uh, nope. Cancel. Yes. Prince. Prin go. Thank you. No. Dag damn it. Too far. Now go. There we go. Okay. Oh, 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 damn it. Okay. Not quite. Oh, no. Don't hit the prince. I swear, you hit the prince, and we're going to have problems. Mm. 
Okay. We're all right. Okay. Damn it. Maybe I need to lower it a bit. Or I'm just... Oh! There we go. Okay. Now I just had to get the right angle. Okay. Flower picking time. Okay. Huh. There we go. Hoo. Hoof. Woof. Woof. And then jump. Boop. Okay. We're good. Oh, print. Wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. How do I... How do I... Oh, shit. I can't get back to him. No! I'm stuck. God damn it. Okay, hang on. Blap. Oh, I can't believe after all that. Okay. Prince, come here. Okay. Okay. And uh, no. Not quite. Okay. No. And now. No. Now. Now. Oh, oh. Is that it? There we go. Okay. Wait. Oh, okay. No, that's fine. Okay. Or wait. No. Okay. Okay, Prince, I need you to get off that. Thank you. Okay. Now I can go get it. <sighs> Whew! Just had to think an extra step ahead there. Okay. Get it. Get that flower. Boom! Bam. Boom. Done and done. We got it. Okay. Prince, got something for you. Nice. All right, Prince, let's get out of here. <sighs> Exit. Yes. Whew. What? I can't... Well, I can't pause current... Oh! Darkness fell. The witch's house was still relatively f far away. They began searching for a place to spend the night. After wandering for a bit, they found an unstable cabin that was covered from top to bottom with mushrooms. It's pretty rickety. Maybe we could stay for just one night, the princess said anxiously. They firmly held hands and entered the cabin. Oh! The inside of the cabin was even darker than the forest. Only a few blurred shadows were visible. The princess squinted her eyes 
to see what they were. Uh oh. oh. Whoa. So many corpses. The princess realized that the shadows were dead goats lying all over the floor. Um. Those are goats? What? Corpses? The prince was stunned. Perfect timing. I'm hungry anyway. Let's eat them for dinner tonight. What? The prince, believing that the corpses were humans, was taken aback by the princess's outrageous suggestion. The princess left the prince to his own confusion and decided to sample one of the goats. Just as the wolf's large fangs were about to sink into the goat's stomach, it let out a weak cry. The prince heard the groan and called out to her, P Princess, that human's still alive. The wolf clicked her tongue and reluctantly stopped eating the goat. Nature's law was to eat weak prey, after all. She stared at the prince, disappointed. So, he thinks they're human beings, she thought. Guess I can't do anything about that. The prince called out to the goats and listened to their story. Princess, these people are starving and can't move. Maybe we could help them? The wolf wanted to be closer to the prince, so she grudgingly agreed. They set out to find some food for the goats. Huh. Okay. Uh, moss Whale's Carcass. Okay. Album. Aha! Here we go. Cotton Flowers. A Witch's Tale 3. Later, a worried man approached the witch. My entire village suffers from a drought. Please make it rain. I'll give my life. The witch granted his wish, and he returned to the village, where it began to rain. He shouted with glee as a village girl ran up to him. The girl, his childhood friend and betrothed, shared in the joy of the rain. Finally, the wedding can be held, the villagers exclaimed, but no one knew it rained in exchange for the man's life. Well. Yeah, that witch has a, has a cruel sense of irony. Mole design? Okay. Okay. Moving forward. What the hell are these? Chests? Huh. Can I break these? Oh, right, I can. Wait a minute. Did I just screw this up? I might have just screwed this up. Oh, no. <laughs> we got lucky. Oh, boy. You wait here, Prince. I got business to take care of. Oh, I see. What? Eh. Okay, hang on. Uh, 
Or wait, no, 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 this way. Time to get the prints. Come on, prints. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay. What? Okay. Ah, there we go. Got it. Uh oh. Trouble. Die. Stupid frog. Okay. Come on, Prince. Got it. Okay. No, you don't. Ha. Okay, so that's how we're getting the leaves this time. Is there a flower on this level too? Or no? Should be able to see. No, just the leaves this time. Whoop. All right. And move a little further ahead. Whoa, what? Oh. Ha ha. Okay. There's only one left, right? Yeah. Huh. I wonder. Okay. No, it's not there. It's not in the darkness anywhere. Okay. Time to fetch the prince. Whoo! All right, prince, come on. We gotta go. Whoo! Wee! Whoo! Whoo! Okay. Okay. I don't see a leaf down there. What? Oh, I was too big to fit through immediately. You! Die! Oh! What the hell? Oh, okay. That worked. Whew. Whew. 
Bingo. Called it. Hey, you! Get out of here! What the hell? Okay. I'll search around a little bit. Die. Die. Whoa, okay, okay. Did not see you coming. Okay, and there's the end of the level. Okay. So then how do I... Oh, I see. I get it. I'm gonna have to, um... I'm gonna have to stand on it and get the prince to go over. <sighs> Whew. Alright. Cleared the way. Come on, prince. Getting out of here and call this an episode. <clears throat> Wee. Wee. Oh, whoops. Wee. Wee. Okay. Go. Okay, you wait right there. Huh. I'm on my way. Here I come to save the day. Whoa, okay. Okay. Huh. Come on. I've already gotten rid of the boar, so... We should be good. Bam. Okay. Oh. They returned to the cabin with a lot of meat and gave it to the goats. I got a lot, the princess said proudly. Help yourself. The prince quickly intervened. Princess, wait. We haven't cooked the meat yet. Goats are monsters, so they love raw meat, but the prince still thought that they were humans. If I mention how monsters eat raw meat, the princess thought, he'll know I'm a monster. She decided to play along with his story. Okay, um, we'd better cook the meat then. But I've never made a fire, so please teach me how to do it. She managed to avoid a potentially awkward situation. The princess tried to follow the prince's instructions to light the fire, but... Ah, uh, no, I'm scared. The princess was still deathly afraid of fire. She began to cry and ask the prince for help. The prince wasn't confident that he could make a fire because of his blindness but he was happy that she had asked him for help. So he agreed. Okay, I'll give it a shot. The prince summoned a little courage for the princess. Take the prince next to the lantern. Let's make a request to hold with up and down. Oh. 
Okay, that's a little different. If you place lantern near a spot where fire has gone out, you can light that spot on fire again. Okay. Like that. The meat turned out perfectly. The goats were utterly delighted and immediately ate all of it. Cooked meat is amazing. Mwah. Thanks. You helped us, Ma. We almost starved to death, Ma. One of the goats said, thanking the two. I'm glad. Can we stay here tonight? The princess asked. Of course, Ma. It's a little dirty and overrun by mushrooms, though. Ma. The goats took them into their home. The long day finally came to a close. The prince was exhausted and dozed off, but the nocturnal wolf could not sleep. Huh. The restless wolf wandered outside the cabin and found one of the goats chasing a rabbit. The rabbit ran swiftly and nimbly, and the goat was unable to catch it. Oh boy. Oh, hi wolf. Hunting's hard, ma. But you got so much meat in the blink of an eye. You're pretty good, ma. The goat said, innocently praising the wolf's hunting skills. The wolf shrugged off the compliment. She was worried the prince would overhear the goat calling her a wolf. When she tried to cut the conversation short, Oh, that human. Is he emergency rations, Ma? The goat asked frankly, which startled the wolf. Not a bad idea. Maybe we should start doing that so we won't starve again, Ma. Uh, but if I were you, I'd get a fatter human. He's so skinny. He'd be a midnight snack, Ma. Uh, normally, the wolf would engage in this banter, as eating humans was common amongst monsters. But now that she was traveling with the prince, she became alarmed at the goat's words. I, I, can I call it an episode yet? No, no. The prince isn't like that. The wolf inadvertently denied. The goat didn't let her blunder go unnoticed. Hmm? Could it be? You want to get along with humans, Ma? The wolf knew the goat knew the truth, but she refused to admit it and kept quiet. You know it's impossible for monsters and humans to get along. It sounded as if she couldn't be friends with the prince. The wolf opened her mouth to speak, but no words came out. You hear of it too, don't you, Ma? Monsters gobbling up humans, humans killing monsters, Ma? The wolf hung her head as the goat continued. No good will come from this, Ma. But you did save us. So if it's something you really want, I'll support you. 
Good luck, Ma. The goat returned to the cabin. Well, that's good, at least. The, whirl the wolf curled up and tried to sleep as the goat's words replayed endlessly in her mind. She felt uneasy up until then. Wait, she felt uneasy. Up until then, she'd been happy to hold the prince's hand as the princess, believing there was nothing to fear. But her true form was a monster that the prince hated. And he still didn't know that she was the one who had blinded him. If he ever found out... It'll be okay, the wolf told herself. If I can just keep this up a bit longer. She didn't sleep that night. The next morning... Damn it, I still need to call this an episode. The princess and the prince left the cabin. The goats thanked them again and prayed for their safe travels. Good luck, Ma. Don't eat him by accident, said the goat the wolf had talked to. Oh God, the night before. The prince didn't understand, but she did. I won't eat him, the princess thought, needing to calm her anxious heart. She pulled the prince's hand and set off again. Trophy earned. Eat up, goats. Okay. Just let me save. So, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment, Subscribe if you want to see more, and share it with anyone else you think might enjoy it. If you want to suggest a game, leave it in the comments below. And check out... I was about to say check out links in the description, but... Uh, this game is only currently available on console. Now, this is the PS4 version I'm playing. It's also on PS Vita and Switch. And in the next part, well... We'll push forward through the mushroom nursery and see where it takes us. Until then, though, this is DZ, your overlord, Desiran. You all have a great day, and I'll see ya. <laughs> <laughs>